Hello and welcome to the Firefly Studios Roundtable Discussion. It's the first one we've ever done and today we're going to be talking about Metamorph Dungeon Creatures, which is our first action strategy game. Today I am discussing the game with... I'm Paul, producer of Metamorph. Uh, Jack, I'm a programmer on Metamorph. I'm Andreas, 3D artist on Metamorph. The best and brightest of the project. Um, so we're going to be talking about the fundamentals of the game, explaining what it is, and to start off maybe let's talk about what is Metamorph. So Metamorph is a brand new game for Firefly. It's a, rather than a castle game, it is a action strategy dungeon crawler. Core idea is that you've got a team of heroes, you've got three to start with, and what you do in the game is you can morph between those heroes. So you select the right hero for the right uh, situation you're presented with, and essentially that's how you get through the game. So we're going to throw at the player loads of levels, loads of enemies, loads of bosses, and it's going to be a really challenging, fun, intense game. Jack, who are the heroes in Metamorph? So the three heroes that we're initially releasing with are the uh, Rabbit, the Fire Nymph, and the Ice Ogre. The Rabbit is a general, uh, neutrally typed, used mainly for utility and quick movement around the area. So it's just kind of, oh, something's going to attack, you can quickly dash it, grab it, whatever. The Fire Nymph, more offensively based, great against ice-based enemies, she can She's more of a ranged fighter yeah. really more than anything else. She can throw projectiles, she's got a nice little grenade AOE attack as well, so she can launch a grenade across, it'll explode in the back and then kind of clear out a pass it and kind of travel through. Mm -hmm. And then you've got the ISO who's more of suppose a bruiser would be kind of the archetype he'd fit into, so he's quite strong, he can take a lot of hits. He's got a great AoE ability, the rock fall as well, which is quite nice, so he can just kind of clear out a huge area of weak enemies when needed. And will those be the only heroes in the game, or will we be adding more sort of post early access release? So as launch, that kind of so as development goes on, we will be adding heroes at various points throughout the time in order to kind of change up the archetypes so people can kind of change up what they're doing in the game. So instead of running the previous levels, maybe you can kind of improve on what you did in that level, switch up the team a bit. So so you take one of the new heroes and go, right, I'm going to try this team and see how it goes. A lot of the game will revolve around that meta gameplay. Who are the boss characters, the lords of death, that these heroes will be banishing from the, from the dungeons, Andreas? So the theme we have for the, for the bosses is uh, the seven deadly sins, and each one of them will represent one of those sins. So the first one you'll come across is the butcher, and he will be representing gluttony. As you, as you advance through the, through the dungeons, you'll, you'll get to meet uh, every every boss a few times before you get to the next boss right. and they'll gradually get harder and harder and they all have their own mechanics so it will be very unpredictable every time you meet them and every time you fight them will be different and during the fight they'll change mechanics as well so you can't just uh, brute force yourself through them you can't just go and bite them and kill them you have to watch them look what they do and react accordingly in order to, in order to beat them and you'll probably die a lot <laughs> in the process. In the process yeah. <laughs> One key question is what sets Metamorph apart from earlier Firefly games? So less so about like, the gaming scene in general, but more about how it's different from Stronghold, Civ City, Space Conley, and the more sort of traditional base management games that we've done in the past. Yeah, obviously Stronghold a, is a you know, deep strategy game. You know, it's the the players that use the best strategy win. Which, so there are, you know, there are massive differences, there are some similarities, and which is important. What we want to do is you know, make a strategy game which you know, has its strategy roots back to you know, our, our games. It's just on a different level. You know, instead of controlling an army, you're controlling well, one of three characters yep. or you know, a team rather than an army. So yep. it's, kind of, you know, it's different, but there's a lot of synergy there with our old games. Yeah. Some DNA in there from that. Oh, yeah, definitely. Why, why are we going early access with Metamorph? Metamorph is slightly different from normal games you do. You know, we're traditionally known for our uh, castle RTSs. So the idea is, obviously, Metamorph is a bit of a departure for us, something, you know, a bit experimental. So what we want to do is, rather than just put it out there with, with no community feedback, we think early access will be a chance for us to actually put it out there, get people playing it that obviously, you know, like this type of game and they can give us feedback and, and we can you know adjust the game according to that feedback. So it's a great way of you know communicating directly with the players that we think this will be aimed at and obviously fans of our games that hopefully will make the transition over from strategy RTSs to action strategy games. Yeah. So I'd just like to thank Jack, Paul and Andres for being talking to me today about the game. Uh, I'm gonna go let them finish the actual real work. Uh, but yeah, like, share and subscribe if you want more Metamorph content and uh, stay tuned in the next few weeks for more videos.